All right, first graders, we're gonna continue on with our vowel digraphs, E, E, and E, A. Remember, a digraph is two letters coming together to make one sound. These two letters come together to make one sound, and both of these digraphs make the same sound. Now, we know they are vowel digraphs because both of the letters that come together are vowel sounds. Now, when two vowels go a walking, the first one does the talking and it says its name. So we know that they both make that long E sound. Okay, so we're gonna do a little bit of rhyme first to get started and then we'll manipulate the sounds and then we'll get started on using our say it, slide it, write it. Okay, so for first rhyming, I have a word. I'll give you the word. We'll rally Robin back and forth words that rhyme with clean so think in your mind of a word that rhymes with clean have about three of them in your mind here we go raleigh robin back and forth words that rhyme with clean clean bean mean seen Nice job. All right, so we're gonna look at a couple of those words. Now, rhyming is something you can do with your eyes closed, but it's important to see what is the same in your words that rhyme. So if I had that word clean, one of the words I chose was bean. You'll notice that they don't have the same beginning sound. They have the same word family. The word family in clean starts with the vowel and it is the Een family. Say it with me. The een family. Do you see the een family also in the word bean? Yes, we do. So that's how we know that clean and bean are rhyming words. All right, we're going to do a little bit of deletion. We're going to start with deleting that beginning sound just off of what you hear. Okay? Say sheet. Say sheet. Say the sounds in sheet. Sh. Eat. Say sheet without the sh. Eat. Nice job. Say clean. Say clean. Say the sounds in clean. K. U. E. N. Mm. Say clean without the k. Lean. Say dream. Say dream. Say the sounds in dream. D. R. E. N. Mm. Say dream without the beginning sound. Ream. Okay. Say sheet. Say sheet. Say the sounds in sheet. Sh. Eat. Say sheet without the t. She. Say feast. Say feast. Say the sounds in feast. F. East. Say feast without the t. Feast. Say beak, say beak, say the sounds in beak, b, e, k. Say beak without the ending sound, b. All right, now we're going to change some of the sounds in the word. Say feast, say feast. Change the e in feast to a. Ah. Fast. Say lead. Say lead, change the E in lead to A. Laid, good. Say peel, say peel, change the E in peel to A. Pale, very good. All right, we have a, um, some sounds for us to go over. Remember, these are our digraphs, our diphthongs, and our blends all mixed together. But the more we see these sounds again and again and again, we'll be able to read them in our new words. So I say, you say, oi, oo, a, st, th, or th, ow, or o, oi, k, ch, w, Sh, e, e, a, sp, cl, pull, sn, cr, 
pr, sl, and dr. All right, this time we're gonna say them together. Here we go. Oi, u or u, a, st, th or v, ow or o, oi, k, ch, w, sh, e, e, a, sp, kl, pull, tr, sm, kr, sl, dr. All right, your turn. No help from me. Which ones do you know? All right, hopefully you did those along with me and you know several of them, nice job. Now we're gonna do our say it, slide it, write it. And for your say it, slide it, write it, you need some ch uh, counter chips. And we don't have those same red and yellow counter chips at home as we do at school. So grab four or five items that you can use. They can be pennies, cars, erasers, whatever you need to use. If you need to pause the video to go get your supplies, you will need those sound chips and you will need a marker and a whiteboard or pencil and paper. So pause it if you need to go get them. If you have them already, set your sound chips out and we will get started. All right, the first word that we are going to build. Um, oh, there it is. All right, the word is eat. Break it apart with me. Uh, um, e -t. How many sounds were in the word eat? Only two. So we only use two sound chips. Now let's build that word eat. Today we're gonna to work with the EA digraph. So build the word eat. E t eat. All right, nice job. Now before you erase, I want you to add a sound. Would you add, don't take away, just add the beginning sound mm. Now beginning is the first sound. So if we add the mm, now what word do you have? Meat, nice job. Now with the word meat, I want you to change something. So you're gonna erase either the beginning, middle, or ending sound. And I want you to change this word to make it say treat. Hmm, which sound would you need to change? Beginning, middle, or end? to make meat say treat. That's right, you're gonna need to change that beginning sound. So the mm changes to that blend tr. What two letters make tr? T, R. Now how many sounds do I have? T, R, E, T. Now we have four sounds, treat. How many syllables are in treat? Break it apart with me. Treat, treat, one syllable. All right, let's try another one. Erase, erase, erase. Slide your sound chips back. Our next word is the word weak. Break it with me. Oh, no. The word is weak. Break it. W, E, K. How many sounds were in the word weak? Three. There are three sounds in the word weak. Using that E, A, Digraph, build the word weak. All right, we should have w, e, k. There were three sounds, but there are one, two, three, four letters in the word weak because our digraph is two letters coming together to make one sound. 
So we have one, two, three sounds with four letters. All right, can you change one letter in the word week to make it say leak? Hopefully you're changing that beginning sound from w to u. And now our word says u, eek, leak. Now I want you to add a suffix to the word leak. I want you to add a suffix that is present tense. It means it's happening right now. My ceiling is hmm. Leaking. I-N-G. How many syllables are in leaking? Leaking. Leaking. Two syllables. All right, erase your boards. All right, you can put your markers and whiteboards down or your pencils and paper down. I'm going to go over a few words that are in your reading today that have the E-A digraph. So read these sounds with me. Sound, 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 word, meat. Nice job. Next one, sound, 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 whole word. Peas. Hopefully you like to eat peas. They're really good for you. Next word. Sound. 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 Whole word. That's one of our words that we built today. Nice job. Week. All right. Next one we have sound and sound. Whole word. Tea. This is like the tea that you drink. All right, next one, sound, 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 whole word, peach. So I heard peas, I heard meat, I heard peach. I have a feeling that this passage is going to be talking a lot about food. You'll have to let me know if that prediction is correct. Now, I wanted to show you another word that is in our text. It makes that long E sound, but it does not have the E-A. Remember, when there is a magic E at the end of the word, it makes the vowel say its name. So this word is peat. You do not hear the E at the end, but it makes that middle vowel sound say E, P, eat, peat. It's the name of the character in our passage. So go ahead to the next slide and read your passage. Your job is also going to be to highlight all of the EA um, digraphs in the next uh, one over. You can do it.